Hi, I'm Jay Thomas and welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout over at Rod's Hot Rods on Faithful Avenue in Saskatoon. Of course, I've got Rod with me like always and we're here to check out what is new in the showroom this week. And we are screaming into summer here, just a couple days away really. It's not very far, lots of car shows happening around the, the area, the province. It's great. In fact, this weekend coming up, I'm going down to Moose Jaw. Really? Yeah, it's called the Bent Wrench Run. Really? And it's on Sunday in Waccamaw Valley Park. Big outside car show in the grass. Dragging the camper down behind the Buick. It's going to be hmm. a good time. So. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> You're welcome. You can come now. See? Actually, I'm actually taking a couple of days off. We're going to the lake, oh. leaving Thursday morning. Yeah. So I'll be gone Thursday morning until Monday afternoon. We're going to the Eagle Creek Jamboree. Oh, that's fun. I know. That's a really cool time. So we're going to have lots of fun. Lots of us going down. Awesome. I'll have my phone on, but I'm not going to check it all the time. So don't expect a, a quick response. Are you still going to have somebody in the showroom here? Absolutely. Okay. So you can still come by whether Rod's here or not. So we've got what? How many look at today, Rod? Five? Yep, five. Man, I go, I go for one week and the stuff that we're even going to look at, I can't believe it. There's already some sold signs on yeah. this stuff. You know, like I couldn't even get here fast enough and there's already sold signs. So without further ado, let's begin. But we're first going to go behind Rod and take a look at something that was just done today. And this is really cool because What's, we featured this truck, I'd say a couple videos ago, yeah. right? It's too bad. I never got any live footage. I was too busy today. Yeah. But uh, we had too tall stripe the... The old International today. Ah, uh, look at this. And it's like a Saskatchewan, maybe this is inadvertently done, but you know, the green well, and the yellow is really cool. Okay, so he did the ivory and the green and he was done. Yep. I'm like, you know what? For some reason, I, I think I need to have something yellow today. Yep. He's like, really, yellow? I'm like, so he did it. And, I'm, and he's like, wow, that looks pretty good actually. It kind of goes with the motif. And it's kind of a, you know, Saskatchewan colors too. I think it's something cool. on the back of the cab too. Yeah, dude. there's well, there's nothing I on the doors. Seen it yet. But we got on the top of the fenders here. Oh, we did that. That's that pretty looks fun. pretty I like that. Yeah, that's great, right? That yeah. kind of runs back on the top, just subtle. Oh yeah, and then the and back then of the cab. Back of the cab up there. Look at that. I like the top of the fenders. That's oh, and he did the visor too. Okay, well, we'll I'm, not, to, I'm not skidding enough to get by the well, other. Well see if so. I am. I don't know if I am either, but we'll find out here in a second. Too tall certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, just can make it. Oh, yeah, on this side here and the visor. Look at that. Right so now on. we have to install the visor. Yeah, you definitely do. Yeah. You definitely do. Everyone's been talking about making oh, this into a... I missed this side of the cab here, too. Everyone's been talking about making this into our second shop truck. Well, we got Mater, that's yeah. what we call. Which I was driving today. I was driving today. I just yeah. went home to let the dogs inside and I grabbed my uh, regular truck. I'm I not like sure it. why I did that, but... I like it. Looks great. Yeah, I like that one. It's cool. Okay, so we've got five new vehicles to start with today. Let's Where do you want to start? The, start on this end. Okay. I want to I keep the cherry to the last one. There. The cherry to the last one. We've seen this beautiful Cutlass last week. We saw this amazing Chrysler 300, <clears throat> Cordoba 300, whatever. Look at this. 68 Roadrunner. We don't get many Mopars in. When we do, they usually go pretty quick. Well, I mean, look at the sold sign on it. <laughs> yeah. Funny story with this one, we actually, I, uh, we've had that 69 Camaro for a couple of weeks. I had it on our website. Yeah, it's orange. I yeah. never had it advertised on Kijiji or Auto Trader until last night at about four o'clock. It sold at seven. <laughs> I got guys lined up for that thing. Yeah. This gentleman came in from out of town to purposely want to look at buying the Camaro. He walked in, sold sign. So he, he looked around and this one, he liked this one, and uh, so he didn't go home empty. That happens so many times when people walk in to buy or to look at one car, or they, and they walk or they walk out with a different one. Well, you know, that's yeah. how I bought the car I own too. Not not from you, but a different place. It's the same thing. Yeah. Looked at one, bought the other. Something else kind of gets your attention. I got one of these hanging on the wall in my garage. I never realized that they came with holes in them. That's for the cop wheels. That's the cop wheels. Yeah, the, hey. the interceptor cop wheels have the holes. Have the holes. The regular, so these these are off of an interceptor, even though this is just a yeah, it's, rotor. Yeah. yeah. What I like is, well, there's a coyote in the back seat laying there dead right now. That's cool. Nice, nice interior. It's a four speed. Right? Factory tack. Factory tack. Look, look at that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I don't, I've never seen this dash with that factory tack in it. It's next to, a, next to the horizontal speedometer. Full gauges. Actually, this car, 
uh, it's not installed yet, but it comes with a factory A track. Really? So Roadrunners never had any options just from factory. They're just a baseball and car. Yeah. No power steering, usually no power brakes, no options at all. This one having a factory tack and a factory A track is right. kind of very unique. No kidding. That's pretty cool. So this is an original 383 car. This is a real uh, Roadrunner. Um, but the 3D3 is not in it now. Now it's oh. got a 440. Oh. So it's been hopped up a little bit. It sounds good. I actually drove this car. It, it hauls. Really? Yeah. Well, no doubt. Hauls pretty good. Oh, look at that. Even some good artwork on there. That's great. It did have a cool uh, dual quad setup. Um, the motor's, it's pretty, uh, pretty stout motor in here. No kidding. So with the dual quads, it, it wasn't as drivable. Um, so it was changed to a single uh, four barrel. Yep. A lot more drivable now. Um, I just noticed it is power brakes. That is really, this is, this has got a few more options yep, than your average one. Right there. For sure. And discs in the front, right? That's the, no? Drums or discs? Um, Isn't that the weird, with the dual chambers that are strange? Maybe I'm not a Mopar enough. It is disc I, on the front, yeah. Not Mopar yeah. enough, but that looks like discs yep. to me, right? Yep, it is. A diff there are different uh, chambers yep. in the, in the dual circuit. So, <laughs> Power brakes. I just noticed those valve covers. I should have swapped those off first. You know how much those valve covers are worth? These ones here? Yeah, those the original Mopar crinkled. Uh, <laughs> I should have swapped them off. <laughs> I can't now though. Yeah, it's sold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's funny. man. Should have kept them for myself. This is cool. Yeah, it's a nice car. B5 Blue. Yep. This is actually, uh, um, it's, they didn't call it B5 Blue in 68. This is a QQ1. Okay. which uh, denotes a turquoise blue. So it's, this is actually B5 blue now. Yeah. Different code for different years. It's right. the same, same color. Sure. Yeah. Very handsome. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I always like the, well, even the little, were those on all of them? I believe those that's the, an option, yeah. Those are a turn signal indicators. Like the chargers had them in the hood. Yeah. Right? And yeah, but this would have been an extra too, I think. As an option, yeah. I, As an option. So this, somebody picked this and, and ordered a lot of cool stuff on it. Because 68s are hard to read the tag. With 69, you can read every option the car had. 68's a little different. My books only go to 69. I know lots of guys can code a 68 way better than I can, yep. but the only thing that I could get off there is that what the color was, it's a 383 real Roadrunner. Right. That's what I got from it. So if you're uh, a Mopar expert, and you're into this sort of stuff, leave some notes in the comments, either Facebook or YouTube, let us know, and very handsome car. And it's got the, uh, oh. <laughs> Perfect. I have the beep beep. Perfect. Where do okay. we go to next? Well, how about that one? You're standing next to it, right we got, here. We've got three silver in a row. I know. So don't, okay. don't get too bored. Um, <laughs> this is like a champagne though. It comes across silver in the video. It does have a bit of a rose hue to well, it. Well, we're going to see there's three, they're, they're all called silver, but there's three totally different colors. That's right. They are. So this is a 1950 Chevy, obviously very customized. Uh, it's okay. Nosed, decked, Frenched, shaved, channeled, radius. <laughs> oh, I can't think of what else. Um, it's it's on an 86 Caprice chassis, so a little more modern chassis. Yep. Uh, 5.7 small block, air conditioning, cruise control. Well, uh, very, very well built car. Yeah. We have differences of opinion, but I like the wheels. You think maybe a little change is due, but you're talking about maybe doing a little bit of paint work with this. Well, it's, it's, it's a beautiful car, but it's so, to me, it's so mundane and so monotone. Yeah. Too tall was here today. Well, I asked his, his own opinion. Well, you know where this is going to go. Yep. So, we need to get into a paint booth for like a day. And I think we're going to do a ghost flame on this. Ooh, that will look good. That really will. Just it'll bring a little, it off. It'll bring a little bit of life to it. You know, that's cool. Now uh, in here, nice interior too. Yeah, leather interior. It's got door poppers. So you got, you know. Well, there's one, if you don't have oh, there the, we go. The, the fob in your hand. Right. Then. And I was reading the, the, all the info that comes with this. It's uh, out of a Buick, this interior. Buick GS. Yeah, yeah like GS. That. So really nice. Actually, the color of the leather really goes well with the color of the car. But there again, it's mundane. It's all the same, right? It is. It is. But it's um, super, like these are so plush and oh, comfy. Yeah. You know, that's, 
we were saying this is the car you get and you drive to Calgary in. Believe it or not, this car has over 40,000 miles to take driven. Oh, wow. So this yeah, is I a, mean, this is a proven driver. It's built in Manitoba. Vintage this, air. This thing's been driven a lot. You know, it still seats. shows very, very well. Totally. Somebody's taking very nice care of it. Even yeah. the back seats are, you know, out of that car. So you could put four people in this car, fill the trunk with luggage, and you, you could go for a road trip. Absolutely. Like it's, it's comfortable to ride in. And uh, see so yeah. Like door just closes. Pr closes perfectly, hey? Uh, oh, we got a trunk. Yeah, we got hidden away yeah. there. Radio antenna. Our tail lights are See, just subtle. It's just, it's all molded in. The, the, the bumper's been, you know, you know squished tucked, in a tucked bit, in. tucked yeah, in. It's just, right. all, there's so many little touches on this car, you don't even know until you, no, until you have until a really good look at it. it. So, oh, yeah, cool. Just functional. Somebody made a pass through. You can take your skis with you. Well, that's just that's a just in case. Pass that's a just in case pass through, I guess. Hey, so you yeah. can get your hand so in you the can, trunk. Yeah. Little donut. Yes. Yeah, nice. Car cover. Oh, Very we got to get underneath the hood. Uh. So if somebody even took the time to put a modern hood release into, yes. the, into this you know and this is a cool part lots of guys cheap out on this when you get the hood open and then you're like i was like okay hmm how do you get how do you keep the hood open yeah where's the thing well right? this is cool look at this yes all stainless steel built in fits Boom. in there nice look at that look how clean this is and yeah. tidy yeah wow very well like, painted just a up. tidy, tidy little hot rod. Yeah, it really is. Well done, car. It's nice to look at under here. I drove this on the highway. It's just like, this was on a road trip to Edmonton last summer on the hot day with the AC on. So yeah, it wasn't me personally. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, it's a cool car. Yeah, it's a very cool car. It's it's good looking and- It'll even be better looking. I think so. Let me get a little, yeah, little, or a little flare on it. Yep. I think I'm with you, but okay, let's go that way. Want to go that way? Let's look at the other silver one. Chevelle here, little Mustang. So here's, let's do a Corvette. And here we go. 1972 Corvette. This is a K-Code 350, four speed, factory air conditioning. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, now there's a couple, you know, stone chips and stuff here and there. Keep in mind, this is an original unrestored car. This is original paint. This has never been painted. No. Holy this smoke. Is a, this is a two owner car. The, um, the last owner had it uh, since 1977. So he's and owned it most of its life. He was five years old when this car, when he got this car. Wow. I really like, like I really like this year because of the chrome snout on it, like the, the nose. And the back. This is the and last the year of the, of the chrome bumpers front and back. That's right. I, and I really like that touch on this yep. body style. I know this body style went for a long time and it changed and kind of morphed over the years. I really like the chrome parts. 72, in my opinion, 72 is the last year of the cool, of the cool ones. Because yep. after 72, then they went plastic and... That's right. Yeah. I mean, this is... bad. It's just, this this is, is still just, is fiberglass, but, but it's got... I mean, the, I mean like this. the bumpers though. Yeah, like that's the, right. That's right. Yeah. The nose. And look at this. Let's see if I can get in here. No, she's yeah. locked. Down. No, no, you have to pull, pull, push it hard. No, she's locked. Muscles. She locked, but that's okay. That one opens. I think it's just the muscles, but. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of a weird option car. Why There's is that? No power steering. Okay. No tilt wheel. Yeah, okay. Um, there's not really anything for options, to be honest. Uh, AM, FM radio. I guess it's got, yeah, it's got an FM, um, right? That's about it. And it's got air conditioning. Oh yeah, an air. That's the odd one, yeah. Right, like you can see controls. There's no power are, off, there's no power windows, no power locks. Controls are right up in front of the shifter there. Yep. A couple dials and there's air conditioning built in. And it's all still there, it's all functioning. So. Still working. The other cool part with this era, this year, is the hidden cowl for the windshield wipers. Yes. So that also. Still ends. works. And I think 72 or, I can't remember, 72 or 73, but this ends. And this whole like, it does it, I can't it, remember. It just, it just slides move, up like this, yeah. Moves forward, yeah. and then the wipers do their thing. Go back down, retract, and this kind of goes whoop. These are a pain in the butt, it's all vacuum. So so when it works, There's a cool. vacuum pot that's hidden down there. They're, they're a bugger to actually get at. Yep. Um, you can't you can't really buy them. You can buy like a uh, generic one, new, but not 
the actual OEM one. They don't uh, reproduce it. Right. So you have to find one used. You gotta then you gotta weld it. You gotta fix it. Make sure it's airtight. Fix air it. And, because the headlights and the wipers are all in the same. That's right. Thing. I just realized too, it's the T-top roof. T-top, right? yeah. Yeah. But there again, just the solid, solid roof. But that was blast. that was would have been an option, yeah. right? You would have had a solid roof otherwise, right? So, I like it. Very handsome. Again, you said we got three silver cars. We got this silver, and then we got kind of a greeny silver. Yeah, this has got a kind of a, a rose oh, tint yeah. to it, and this has got kind of a green tint to it. Yeah. This silver, right? It's odd that they're all parked within two feet of each other. <laughs> So should we go to our, our next silver car? Next silver one. This is a different flavor what we just got in. Look at this mean thing. So, so 1998 Dodge Viper GTS. So most people remember back in the early 90s, 93 was the first year of the uh, RT10 Viper. They had lineups for the dealerships. They're paying more for list, more over list kind of thing. Um, and they had no roofs, no side glass, no, they're kind of just a fair weather car. That's right. This was the first attempt at like the supercar for the for the Viper, and uh, they're super popular. They actually have windows. It's got air conditioning. It's got all the stuff, right? That's right. Yeah. So you can actually drive these cars. This is a manual too, right? Yes. And, and there's is, no traction control. Yeah. Like, does it even have ABS brakes? Like, that might have been it for like, you know these are, safety safety in quotations. Right. These cars, you have to drive these cars. Yes, it's an active. Active participation, right? You don't yep. just go for a ride in the in the driver's seat. They're not for the faint of heart. No, not They're, at all. Uh, I always love this though, the snake that lit up. Lit lights as, up, yeah. As your third brake light, your high mount brake light. These back tires are so wide, it's hard to even. You know, Let's see if I get down there low enough. Because this car's got some add-ons. This has been. It's got a brand new lowering suspension. Yep. Huge brake kit on it, front and back. Oh, uh, yeah, custom Corsa exhaust. It's also got a, a nitrous wet kit. Yeah, look at this. Dual it's not look a huge one. It's only, it's only a, a, a hundred horse. So it's not crazy, crazy, but it's still, right. I don't know why you need to add more power to a bike. There group. are, if, if I zoom in here, there are some extra buttons hanging out on that dashboard that have been added. So that's yeah, part of the nitrous buttons. system yeah. in this thing. And this thing's only got 19,000 miles too. 19,000? Original miles, yeah. Wow. We documented it all through Carfax. It's all exactly how it's now, supposed to be. We were talking, you know, when I had a look at this the first time, the, the regular uh, Viper yeah. had side side exhaust. Yes. Right? This though, it comes out the rear. But it still has it's still side exhaust. Right. It still runs down these, inside. Uh, here. Yeah. So there's actually there's lots of uh, uh, insulation in there. So it, they try to to make it so it's not as hot, but it is still hot. Yeah, it's still because hot. Because normally they would just exit out the side. With this one, the pipes still go there, but then it, they Y back in and they go out the, the middle of the back. Very cool. But that still gets hot though. And there's a big warning decal. As soon as you open up the door, the warning decal's still on there saying that, that it's hot. So do you think we can look at that V10? Uh, this one, I'm not sure how to get the hood open. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know it does hinge backwards, right? It lifts. Yeah, and then it's, like yeah, this, it's, right? But it's it's a it's like a two person kind of a yeah. thing. And well, I only got I got a cap I'll get one pictures, hand. and then I'll then we'll get it online. Find more at rodshotrods.ca. This one gives it out. Yeah, look at that. That's the little blow off valve. It's your purge valve. Yeah. yeah, it's very cool for the nitrous. Awesome. That's that's pretty well more modern modern muscle, right? Modernish. Yeah. 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 It's, um, it's handsome, no doubt about that, right? I mean, wow. The other Viper's gone. The 15 Viper's uh, oh, yeah. sold into uh, Lloyd Minister. Yeah, because I guess our hot rod's in the way here. That's right. Cool. Actually, this is the next one to get striped. Tootal is going to stripe it next week. Oh, right. We were talking about that because yeah. a lot of comments came in that everybody thinks this should have some pinstriping work done to it. And I think it does. It just yeah. needs that. That's the last thing missing that'll just finish this car off. Okay. That's getting done. Our last bit one of today is something that's pretty cool. Well, this is kind of a bittersweet one because I, I love hot rods. People know me as loving hot rods and I'm a big softy for the 32, 33, 34, three windows, five windows, just cool hot rods. And I haven't had one since last summer. So we found one, they can know this is going to be awesome. It comes in, it lasts for half a day and it's gone. <laughs> so look at that. 34, three window. LS1, 4L60, so modern drivetrain, TCI chassis, Mustang 2 front, um, full leather interior. This car was a top contender in SEMA, I believe it was 2008. Oh, wow. So in SEMA, that, that's the best of the best. It was one of the best hot rods built in 2008. That's right. 
It's got lots of pictures of documentation with Chip Foose. He signed the back of the trunk we'll there. We'll see that in a second, yeah. yeah. There's pictures of AJ in it, and but it was in SEMA, you know, and Chip Foose was kind of big that year, right, so. This is kind of ZZ Top Eliminator, you know, is what always comes to mind, is that is that car, whenever I see one of these. But this is really, really well We do done. have the sides, the hood sides for it too. Oh, well, I was gonna ask. Yeah. Is it, is it magnetic? Is that why they've got a sort of a strip here? No, that's just part of the uh, the hood lock system, so you can open the hood from either side. Ah, okay, I right. gotcha. Um, so somebody can choose to leave the, these off or put them back yeah, on. Exactly. Now these are we were having a discussion about this because you know they're they're worth almost the same amount of money, but this is actually a fiberglass car. Yes, it's a fiberglass car. You know, they've, they've even, come a long way, and the the thing a lot of people used to frown on fiberglass cars now. If you build the car right and get the right body, you can build a car where you don't know it's fiberglass. Well, I only knew that because I put a hand on it kind of at the back and went, hey, this doesn't feel like metal. But you'd, you'd look at it, you'd never think, well, that's not metal. And I can't, you know, I know, wish we could have smell a vision because in here, and I'm gonna grab the door handle. It just smells like leather. It's it sweet. smells so good. Suicide doors are amazingly cool. The leather's so soft. It is. It's buttercream soft. It smells incredible, like a brand new, you know, couch. It, it, <laughs> oh, and there's lots of room for a bigger guy. There is. There. I, I'll give it away. I had a little <gasps> seat in this when I was waiting for you. Don't tell the new owner. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very, very comfortable. It's lots of room. And, you know, the seats go back even further. So it's, it's very nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It's yeah, this is a gorgeous super well car. done. This car was, has been shown in a lot of big, big shows. Like... Like the big, like the big, big shows. Well, and I mean, we were talking about the, talking about the signature. That's right up under there. Even under the, even under the trunk, there's a big waft of leather smell yeah. coming out of here, you know? This is a power trunk too, eh? Closes, yep. Yeah, and this is kind of neat. That's your, your, your gas. fuel. So, this is a handsome rig. Man, oh Yeah, man. and the underside is like wet sand and polished, just like the top. It's wow. just, everything is chrome polished. Even all the exhaust is all polished. It's unbelievable car. I would have loved to have, you know, at least kept this for a month just to drive it around to some of the, you know, cars of coffee and some of the some of the shows and sip and shines and whatever. Would have been nice, but she's going down the road already. Okay, yeah. Rod, what are we gonna look at for oh. next week? We got a whole bunch of stuff that's coming Sorry, up. Sorry, it was just getting kind of attached already. Yeah, again. he's got a little tear coming down the side of his cheek. Okay. Oh, lots of people would uh, will remember this car. Uh, we had it parked right here. We did a video on this car, uh, not this one, but it was parked here in around Christmas time. 1970 and a half, Z28, yellow, Pro Street blown. Yeah. Okay, that car's coming back tomorrow. Really? It's not a, it's not a great story, actually, but the gentleman that I sold it to, he's uh, he has some health problems. Aww. And, uh, and, is, and is forced to sell it, or forced to take his license away for now. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're getting the, the uh, car back and uh, hopefully he gets better soon. and. And he can get into a hot rod again. Absolutely, yeah, I'd love to so, hear that, yeah. But that one's coming back tomorrow. Um, we had so much interest in that car, it was crazy. Yeah. In winter time, January. Well, like, here's another opportunity, right? Exactly. So now you've seen it on the video, you know the car, it's on the website. There's one picture of it on the website That's now. right, and if you go back on YouTube, you can always find our video when we shot that it would car have been too. end of December, or middle of December kind of thing. That's right, yeah. so you'll find it there, cool. Okay, now we talked about how rare this aeroback was, right? Yes. Okay, guess what I'm guess what I got coming tomorrow. You're kidding. Another one? <laughs> Did you find another one? Yeah. Everything comes in pairs, in twos, multiple twos to Rod's Hot Rods. I I wasn't even looking for one of these. And the other one coming is even more rare than this. Why? It's an 86 and it's a Pontiac 2 plus 2. Oh, Grand Prix. Arrow, Grand Prix. They only made 12 it's 1235 or 1200 and some total production over 2 years. 86, 87. Right. Um, the 86, yeah, it's super rare. And the only comes, I believe it was silver. I haven't even done my homework on this car, but I think they're all silver. They look kind of different because the, the back trunk lid on the Pontiac is all molded. It's like a big scoop. Yes, yes. Then the front nose cone is totally different. It's like it's like the real NASCAR. Yes. I, cool I have car. seen. 
So we'll have to get those side by side when we shoot the video for that so one. So that'll be coming tomorrow too. I can't believe we got two at the same time. See, look, it always just um, pairs. The Dart, we kept on talking about our 69 Hemi Dart. Yep. Uh, we're getting the fuel injection fixed or, you know, because the car sat for, for so long. We finally got the uh, injectors in today. Yep. From a race company out of Ontario. So that'll be up and going real quick. By next week, it sh hopefully it'll be Should here. Should be here in the yeah. showroom. Awesome. That Pro Street C10 we're talking about, 69. Mm-hmm. Um, that had a little damage uh, when I bought it, um, and he's got that fixed now. So that's ready to be picked up. Awesome. That's coming back. My wife's Camaro, her brand new 1LE Camaro that we ordered, <laughs> is just got in. Finally. Finally, they took pictures and sent them to me, so that's in. Nice. That'd be coming. Not for sale, though. <laughs> Yeah. And the other one, so far we got, so that's three for sure new ones next week, possibly four. No, two new ones for sure, possibly four if the other ones come. And we got another one, I, I got a Harley coming. Oh. It's got a 2011 uh, Street Glide, only got 16,000K on it. Kind of that root beer brown. Yep. Kind of a Neat. cool color. So I haven't had a Harley here for a long time, so we got one of those coming too. Hey, your dad said uh, you were whining a little bit about your Corvette. Why, because he put all the miles on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's mild out. It's almost got like 4,000K on it now. It's almost yeah. due for the second oil change. He said, ask Rod about the Corvette. So it's back at your place. I think he washed it at least. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did, I did get it back for sure. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to start Sting, driving it again. New, new Stingray. Okay. Well, if you saw something you liked in this video and you think, yeah, that's got to be mine. I mean, there's a few sold signs in here, but there's lots of, there's lots of windshields that don't have sold signs. So make sure you head to rodshotrods.ca. And we'll catch you next week on Hot Rod Hangout. After the lake.